family, we are here finally at the chapel, uh, the old church, parish church of St. Peter Julian Amard. It was in this church where he was baptized uh, right after he was born. In fact, this behind us is the baptismal font. Now, because the church was almost destroyed and demolished, a lot of the things that have to do with his life are here. He received his first Holy Communion in 1623 here, in 1823 here, and he served as an altar boy. And that altar rail that you see in back of you, which is not used anymore, this was the altar rail where he received his first Holy Communion. And how blessed we are that we have a priest. Who we, we have with us Father Virgil, Virgil from the Philippines. He's a member. <clears throat> excuse me, of the Congregation of the Blessed Sacrament, and you're stationed here at this Yes, I'm assigned here. Uh, talking about the Blessed Sacrament, what really touched my heart was that um, he was found, he, uh, he, it's not that he was hiding, but he went in back of the tabernacle where our dear Lord, we believe our dear Lord is present there. And uh, when they found him, he had his uh, ear to the, the tabernacle and back of the tabernacle. And they said to them, well, well, what are you doing? He said, I'm trying to hear Jesus. my Lord. Pray. And I want to hear him clearly tell me what to do. This was as a child. Yes. Now, <clears throat> his family was a very, <clears throat> very religious family. We don't want you to get the impression that they were not, but his father did not want him to get involved with, with religious life. He had other plans for his life. Well, and not only that, he was sickly, and he was sickly all his life. So uh, the life of a priest is not easy. And so he, he had to study Latin, and his father would not allow him to study Latin. So he had to study Latin secretly. And, and at one point, his father found out that he was studying Latin, and he just about had a fit. Peter was completely crushed. He couldn't believe that this was happening to him. He walked a distance of 30 miles to the shrine of Our Lady of Laos. He wanted to unload all his sorrow and disappointment at the feet of Our Lady, and quite honestly, ask her how he could follow his dream of becoming a priest. <laughs> 